Hello guys, so I would like us to look at Laplace transform of uh, sine hyperbolic and cos hyperbolic. So let's start off with Laplace transform of sine hyperbolic AT. Now, in order for us to evaluate this, we'll first of all start by expressing sine in its uh, sine hyperbolic in its exponential form. Now we know that if we have sine hyperbolic X in exponential form, it will be exponential X over two. So this will be the same as the Laplace of exponential at minus exponential minus at over two. So this is basically it in its uh, exponential form. And this will give us integral from zero to infinity of exponential minus st multiplied by the function exponential at minus exponential minus at, all this divided by two. So I can just write the half outside and then this is dt. So the next step, since all my values are in terms of exponential, I'm going to put them under the same base, that is exponential. So multiplying this and this, I will have exponential. Um, I'm taking out the minus outside, so I will remain with positive s minus a into t minus and multiplying this and this, so I have exponential taking out the minus, I will remain with positive s plus a multiplied with t dt. Okay, integrating that, the first function integrating will have exponential minus s minus a over minus s minus a minus, integrating the second function, we have exponential minus s plus a all this divided by minus s plus a, and in the range is from zero to infinity. Okay, so replacing the range now that we've already um, integrated, so uh, we have a half outside into brackets, replacing infinity. So replacing infinity here, we'll have exponential raised to the power minus infinity. And we already stated that exponential raised to the power minus infinity is the same as one of exponential raised to the power of infinity, which is the same as one of exponential raised to power zero, which is basically the same as zero, because you have a very small number and you're dividing it by a very big number, like let's say one divided by 10 million, something like that, you'll get 0 0.0000. So you'll get a number that is just um, going to zero. So that gives us zero. Okay. So if, since we've already established that uh, uh, exponential, exponential raised to the power minus infinity is equal to zero. So replacing here, we will have a zero minus replacing X, uh, uh, infinity here, where there's t, we'll have exponential raised to the power minus infinity again. That will give zero again. Minus, now replacing the values with zero. So replacing zero here, this will be exponential raised to the power minus zero. And exponential raised to power minus zero is the same as one over exponential raised to power zero, which is the same as one over one. So the whole of this will give us one. So I will have one over minus s minus a minus, so this is minus, this is minus, so that will give a plus, and then replacing the value of zero again here, we'll have exponential raised to the power minus zero, and that will give us one again, so one over s plus a. Okay, fine, so now that you've already replaced the values of the ranges, let's uh, simplify this. So this will give a half, into bracket. So this is minus minus that will give positive. So one over s minus a minus positive. So that will give minus one over s plus a. Okay, let's put them under the same LCM and see what it simplifies to. So uh, this will give a half into the LCM is s minus a s plus a. So how many times does s minus a go here? So we have s plus a minus how many times does s plus a go here so we have s minus a so that uh, simply translates to s minus s which will be zero a minus minus which will be plus two a so we have a half out here two a all this divided by s minus a multiplied by s plus a that's a difference of two squares so it will give us this so the two cancels with two and this basically gives us a over so this gives a over s squared minus a squared.
squared. In a similar manner, we can evaluate the Laplace uh, transform of um, coarse hyperbolic. So Laplace transform of coarse hyperbolic AT. First of all, let's express it in its exponential form. So it will be exponential AT plus exponential minus AT, all this divided by two. The Laplace transform is the integral from zero to infinity of exponential minus AT multiplied by the function, which is exponential AT plus exponential minus AT, all this divided by two. So I can just write there a half down there DT out. Okay, so I have a half, let's put them uh, under the same basis. So multiplying this by this, I will have exponential, take out the minus. So I will remain with S, S uh, minus A, T plus exponential, take out the minus again. I will remain with S plus A, T, D, T. Okay, let's go on and now integrate. Integrating the first function, we'll have exponential minus S minus A over, minus s minus a plus integrating the second function we have exponential minus s plus a all this divided by minus s plus a integral is from zero to infinity okay fine so let's replace the ranges and see what that gives us let's replace the ranges and see what that gives us so this will basically give us a half into replacing infinity. So over here, we can clearly see if we replace infinity here, we'll have minus, this will basically just simplify to minus infinity. And we already established that that is zero. Plus replacing infinity again over here, that will simplify to exponential minus infinity. So the whole of that will just be zero. Minus, now replacing the value of zero, the first time here, so this will be exponential raised to the power minus zero, that will be one. So we will have one over minus S minus A and then plus, so actually minus because plus minus, so this is basically just a uh, minus, minus, uh -huh. replacing the value of, um, replacing the value of zero over here, we'll have exponential raised to power minus zero, which is one. So that will be one over S plus A. Okay, fine. So simplifying this, so we have a half into brackets, open the brackets by minus this. This will give me positive one over S minus A. Minus minus will give me positive one over S plus A. Then let's put this two under the same LCM and simplify. So we have a half outside into bracket S minus A, S plus A. Okay, so this gives S plus A over here, plus uh, this gives S minus A. Okay, putting that together, so this is a half into S and S will give two S, A minus A will give zero, all this divided by a difference of two squares in the denominator. So this will cancel with this. And uh, finally, the Laplace transform of course hyperbolic is equal to, S over S squared minus A squared. So that's it.